welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel i'm janelle if you are new y'all so it was a few things i needed it's early in the morning it's like 10 something it was a few things that i needed um to make a acai bowl and a veggie sandwich so i had to come to target so i'm with my mom so we on our way so yeah i'll see y'all in a minute Y'all, I came in here and stayed on budget. Just back over here. I stayed on budget because I had my list with me. Y'all, so I didn't show y'all, but while I was in Target, I saw the girl um, line her fashion line you know the youtuber i don't know her name anyway it was really really nice like she had these a lot of y'all probably already saw the stuff but um i was actually never really like when i go on target a lot of times I'm look i'm going to the food part anyway so me and my mom we walked back there and um it wasn't really that much stuff left but she had some cute stuff especially those ooh, those white pants they were like white beige now he's so close i would say more so like white that was like a had like the pleat they were pants but then they had like the pleat is that how you would describe it i don't know i should have showed y'all but a lot of y'all probably saw the stuff already but they were so cute and then um she had like this denim material skirt but it was white i don't really like white clothes but that was cute too ain't no really i don't um maybe a white shirt here and there that's it i don't like white clothes um but yeah that was cute too you like the denim like i say white denim skirt and a lot of the other stuff was like pretty much gone like yeah she she did it with that collection it was really really nice y'all so my mother went inside of a market and i'm sitting in a truck because i didn't feel like going in but i have everything i need in this bag for my veggie sandwich and for my acai bowl um i'll show y'all when i get in the house but my mother was like you keep on saying she and they oh y'all my nose is so bad y'all it's allergies i'm telling you i will scratch the i will scratch my nose till it turn red anyway she was like you keep saying saying why am, what am i saying you keep saying she and they and i'm like ma the people that watch me, I'm not the only YouTuber they watch. They watch other YouTubers. They know who I'm talking about. Even though if, by the time you get to this part, her name will have been on the screen already, right? And um, so I said, you know, she the only YouTuber that I know that has a clothing collection in Target. She's going to say, she the only one? I said, she's the only one that I know. And she was like, what about the other one? So I said, who? So then she's i said who are you talking about so she was talking about tabitha i said i've never seen no clothes from tabitha in target i could be wrong i don't know i thought it was like food and stuff like that i never seen no clothes right so she was like my mother y'all when you know when y'all know depending on how old y'all parents are they from a different generation they don't know about all of this stuff right i'm like yeah she's the only one that i know y'all my nose is itching so bad all of a sudden, oh, I can't. Oh, she come on. If y'all got allergies, y'all get it. Oh my gosh. It's, it's either my eyes or tears are running, flowing from my eyes, or my nose is itching like crazy. And this just started. When I was in the store, I was fine. And it was freezing in there, by the way. But yeah, like I was saying, her um, collection is very nice. You know, very nice. But um, I'm like, mom, please. Yeah, she's the only one that I know. The only one that I heard of, right? Um, So anyway. <laughs> but I'm going to talk to y'all when I get oh, out. We made it back in the house, y'all. I'm going to show y'all real quick um, what I got from Target just so that I can make lunch. Yeah, for the most part, lunch. So, I just got more granolas, acai, olives, almond butter, berries lettuce avocado 
bananas. Good bread. I'm gonna try this one. And then y'all know I love these. But these are the um granolas I bought like last week, I think it was. But they are really sweet to me. I don't I like anything that say caramel, but these were way too sweet. So I just went back to my favorite ones that I always get. But I do like to try different ones. So yeah. Let me make this um these acai bowls. y'all this is what we looking like look real good so i'm about to eat this real quick y'all i'm in my room and i'm about to just take an allergy pill real quick because i've been scratching my nose ever since i was in a car like my nose will not stop itching right so i got these really cheap allergy um pills hopefully they, they don't make me sleepy i'm not trying to go to sleep but when i tell you it's like I've been scratching, scratching, scratching my nose. Oh my gosh. It's, this is just, it's just bad. It's bad. So I'm going to take this pill. And I know I do want to go take a walk today. But I think it's like 90 something degrees. I'm not going to go until later on. But um, my acai bowl, of course, was good. <clears throat> and I'm going to make my veggie. I didn't make my veggie sandwich yet. I'll probably make that in a little while. I got to get myself together because I'm so irritated because of my nose but oh my gosh i'll be back allergy pill worked instantly so i'm good hopefully it stay like this for the rest of the day because i don't want to take another one like i said those things make you so sleepy like i can't do but i wanted to show y'all this um this skirt that i had got from shein um i just ordered it on a whim because i needed well not needed but i'm sure they probably sell these in like the hair store or something i don't know i just wanted it um is a key. <clears throat> Wait a minute, y'all. So, yeah, I had a hard time getting this out. It's just a little knife. My thing is this. If I need this to be out, like, real fast, it's not going to be real fast because it took a long time to get it to come out, right? But I don't know because I don't want to cut myself. Now, I got to... See, that's the thing. It should be some type of little flick, which, of course, you can't ask for all that for, like, I think this was, like, I don't know, $2 or something. But, yeah, so I'm going to put this on my key ring. And then um, I had got this little skirt that I might wear soon. So cute. Oh, wait a minute. The little beads. Definitely a boho, a boho style skirt. For sure. It's the back. So cute. So cute. But yeah, um, that was it. Just really some other little miscellaneous things. But yeah, I don't, let me see something. Okay, so it's kind of easy to get in, but it's not easy to pull it out. See, this going to be a problem because if I, God forbid, I need to use it. But y'all know what I'm saying. If you need to use it, you fuck around, cut your own self trying to get it to, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show y'all real quick. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Whew. So yeah, um, I'm going to see y'all in a little bit, probably when I leave back out.
So y'all, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I did not want tomatoes on it. I told y'all I'm not real, real big on tomatoes. If I had more sun-dried tomatoes, which I don't, I would have put them on here, but. Ooh. But. And I did not buy Follow Your Heart sliced cheese because I forgot, even though they don't sell it in Target, but her Tita was like right next door and I forgot all about it. So yep, that's it. So y'all, as you see, I'm in my car, just left out. Well, not just, but I left out a little while ago and I'm on my way to the park. And do y'all know I forgot the allergy medicine? Oh my goodness. And then also I got these from Shein. I forgot to show y'all these. But like I said, it was other miscellaneous stuff. Come on, the fuck? If you want to turn, you need to learn how to turn. Yeah, so. And I had wanted to go a little bit later because it's still early. I mean, it's three something. But I'm just like, let me go while I actually feel like it. While I feel like driving because I don't drive as often as I used to. It might seem like it to y'all, but I don't. Because the most that I would do, if you heard me say this before, would go to the market and go to my mom's. That's the most, the most, but that wasn't all that I did. But you know what I'm saying. If you've been watching me, you know. But yeah, so I'll catch y'all in, in a minute. So y'all, I brought my blanket out my car just in case I want to sit down. Just in case. But y'all see, I had changed my top because it was nowhere. I was weighing it to the park. See some girls having a picnic, it looked like it anyway. Look like they've been cutting down a lot of trees. That's a tree right there. That's like the this the third one over here. Y'all, and I was not prepared. I did not bring my headphones, which I forgot. And I was gonna bring my speaker, but I do have my water. But yeah, I literally forgot my headphones. Just like the third set of people I saw picnicking. Keep in mind, it's three something and today's Wednesday. And also y'all, if you have not done so, please sign up for my email list. My business link is always in the description box and I'm going to put it across the screen. Shop um, I dropped a couple new items and I'm going to have more coming soon. I did get one of my samples today. Um, I kind of like it 80-20. But yeah. But. Oh, it feel good over here. But yeah, sign up for my email list so that y'all can stay up to date if you want to support me. Anyway, let's see. I don't want to go that way. Because I told y'all how big this park is. And you keep walking and walking and walking. I'm going to be so many miles away from my car. Because I'm not really trying to walk, walk today. I just wanted to come chill in the park. I got another set of people having a picnic. They having a ball. Damn, I forgot my speaker. forgot my headphones. See a guy over there chilling by himself. Y'all might can see him. Look like you're reading a book. By the way, I didn't finish the audio book, um, The Richest Man in Babylon. I didn't finish it. 
because I was doing so many things and brainstorming when it comes to my business, right? But a new audio book that I was interested in came available today. So I borrowed it and um, I can't think of the title right now, but I'll probably put it on the screen. The title is going to get me every time. Seemed like it's going to be a good one. Let's see. I'm going to go this way. Go back up here. I just remember the title of the book is called Your Money or Your Life. Your Money or Your Life. And, oh, go this way. If that ain't a good title, y'all, that's what caught me. It's a business book. So y'all, it's this this really young big YouTuber, right? He been coming on my feed a lot. So I had watched one of his videos recently. I think it was yesterday. And he um was doing like an unboxing because I guess you know he's super um popular and a lot of young people look up to him. So they had sent him clothing or I'm assuming it was just all clothing. I don't know. I didn't watch the whole video. The video was three hours from his clothing brand from their clothing brand they sent all of the stuff to his p.o box and i'm gonna tell you something now i can definitely see because i've seen him come up on my feed for like maybe two weeks now and i've noticed that he has multiple channels the grind is real he definitely put in the work right but this is how people are once they make it to a certain level like I say again in one of my other videos, whatever you consider the top, right? Because the top is whatever you consider the top. The top ain't always the top, right? But he was saying he was going to give his honest opinion about their clothing brands. And as soon as he started opening up, because when I say he had hella shit, he had hella stuff, right? When I tell you he started opening up the clothing, um, the packages and boxes and everything... He didn't really like none of the stuff from the parts of the video that I saw, right? Because I didn't watch all of it. I'm not sitting watching a three-hour video. Um, I think from the part that I saw, it was two items that he actually liked. Mind you, these were people all across the United States that want some recognition from him because he's a big YouTuber, right? He didn't really like none of that stuff. And then he was like, you know real real brutal and to me very disrespectful about it right and just threw all the shit on the floor because i mean he didn't have like nothing set up where he could put the clothes you know what i mean like in a bin he didn't have any of that set up so i don't know i didn't really want him to do anything i didn't really give a damn i thought it was very classless and disrespectful but that's me because of the age group that i am and even if, when i was his age i just I have too much respect for humanity to treat a person like that, right? People that have businesses are trying to get their businesses off the ground by any means, right? So what these younger people thought was by sending him, you know, clothing from their brand, they would get some type of clout maybe, some type of feedback, even if it wasn't positive. I don't think that they thought that he would just discard their stuff like that. Now, he didn't throw it in the trash, but he basically talked about it. Uh, the, the language that some of these young, mind you, he's younger than my son. The language, that even with my son, some of the lingo that they use, I, I can't follow it, right? But this guy was way younger than my son. Some of the lingo and language that they use to basically rip people to shreds, like, it's like, damn, you couldn't say something else like, to maybe no again i did not watch the whole video i'm only going off of the parts i watch right which was probably about a good 15 minutes maybe 20 maybe 20 25 but um it was just like he was just saying no, no this terrible this 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 that and just like shh, and just threw the shit well i want to call that stuff shit but y'all know what i'm saying just threw just threw it like he had different piles First, he was just slinging it wherever it fell. It fell, right? I was like, damn. When people really think that they made it, why do they treat people like shit? That's why I will never understand how us as a people 
support so many different types of people when you know they ain't shit, right? Their personalities suck. They have no class. And they think money is the only thing that makes them like who they are, which to them, they think that they are great, right? So basically they think because they have money, they are the greatest, Money does not make you better than somebody else. We are still all human, right? I just was like, damn, that's that's terrible. And I get it. I would never do it. But I get it why people sent him their brand. Because I'm assuming these were all young black entrepreneurs, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Or either young black business owners. Because it's a difference. Um... Sometimes, you know, a business owner is a full-time entrepreneur or you're a business owner and you do, you have a nine to five and you know, stuff like that. So that's why I say it's a difference. And then it depends on, I guess, how you really feel about your business and what all are you putting into it? You see what I'm saying? But I, again, they were assuming that he would give them some type of recognition, but I don't think that they thought that shit was going to be so raw like that. It was so disrespectful to me. I'm like, damn. It was so bad, I just clicked off of it. I, I could not I could not watch that. I just don't see how people support people knowing that they are rude, disrespectful, and they're so vain they're so obnoxious. They're so materialistic. They're so thinking that they are on top of the top of the top. I don't understand that shit, but I guess I never will. And that's why I don't, right? And that's why I stay in my own lane because some of the shit that I see on here, YouTube, and on social media, I cannot be a part of it. I, I cannot be a part of it. But I just was like, whoever all of those young guys were, who sent their clothing brands to him because when I tell you he had hella packages I don't even I can't even maybe over 300 or probably over 300 to open right I know that they felt so low hopefully hopefully that don't get them down that just motivate them even more because like who the hell do you think you are you know what I'm saying I'm like, damn, that shit was really, really disrespectful. And then, and I went to his comments when I was watching it because they had just, like, uploaded maybe when I was watching it, like, maybe an hour or so, right, when it came on my feed. But some people... <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Some people did have enough guts to tell him about himself. I ain't even gonna say some people. At the time I was watching, it was only one person that had enough guts to actually tell him about himself. But when people get fame, popularity, fortune, you get to see who they really are. That's when you get to see who the hell they really are. Because if you, you know, listen to rap music or even if you're in tune with celebrities, which I'm not, but I do listen to different types of music, not just rap, different types, right? They love to call people broke, but the broke people is the people who got you where you at. And y'all actually... That's, that's all you can say? That shit is terrible. It's terrible. Y'all, so I'm back in the house. I don't know, it, it just seemed like I can't even see because it's so sunny outside. And when I came in here, I don't know, I've been squinching my eyes. If I don't get to the eye doctor like ASAP, and I said it yesterday that I was going to wake up this morning and make an appointment, but I'm going to set my alarm as soon as I can finish eating because I'm eating again. I'm warming up. It's really not much. Just some shrimp that I had cooked yesterday. I had made um, pan seared shrimp with potatoes, but the potatoes are gone, so now I'm making a baked potato. Yeah, I'm going to eat this real quick, but when I get up tomorrow, I have to make an appointment for the eye doctor because, like I told y'all before, Like I told y'all before, um, sometimes I get headaches more than ever. I've, I've never been the type to get headaches until like 2023. And it got to be my prescription. 
the prescription is not one year old yet i don't think or maybe this might make it one year but yeah i'm about to get a new a new prescription but i don't know my eyes they feel so weak like for one having on sunshades you know what i'm saying all of that but anyway y'all let me warm this up i just put my baked potato in the microwave i'm ready to eat so y'all i am sitting here editing this vlog right now um, so that I can just be, you know what I mean, a little bit ahead so far as editing. Because normally I do it all at one time, which takes me about four hours, three to four hours. It just depends, right? So, um, yeah, I'm not doing anything else for the remainder of the day. I think it's like about seven something right now. So I just been editing and um, watching. It's this guy's channel who he speak about like real life stuff, right? So it's this young girl. So yeah, some young girl that was 24 years old, 24, that worked in the kitchen in a prison in Georgia. She ended up getting in a relationship with an inmate, which she know that was against the policy. And then he ended up killing her and killing herself with a gun. How did a gun get in a prison? Who knows? Lord knows who knows, right? And he left a suicide note. But the thing is, is like, damn, damn, damn. When is these women going to understand that you should just go another route? That's not the route for you. Like, it's so sad. You know, she was young. She had a little daughter. I think her daughter was two years old. I think he said, I don't remember. I think he said two. The guy was serving a 20-year prison term for murder. And his release date was 2046. 2046 was his release date why but i know her family is just like so heartbroken because i think that this happened not so long ago like within the last couple days that is just terrible oh my gosh now her daughter don't have a mother lord have mercy Ugh. we got to be smarter you gotta think ahead and be smarter and leave certain people where they at you know what i'm saying leave them where they at like Damn, that's why sometimes I don't like watching that channel because it makes me so mad. But. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video. I'm like I said, um, I'm, I think I said it. I'm editing this video, y'all. I'm editing right now. So I'm trying to like I have been adding the clips to the editing software like within the last you know a couple hours like you know once when i was in here you know what i'm saying before i left out so that i won't have to do all this at one time because that when i edit it takes me about three to four hours typically four hours i'm talking about for the for everything for the video to come up here on youtube everything about four hours or three and a half is a lot it's a lot of work i put a lot of work and a lot of energy into this because i genuinely like to do it you see what i'm saying but yes y'all thank you so much for watching the video i will see y'all in a few days and please subscribe to the channel